some grapes. I got some beautiful grapes here. Here they are, fresh and dry. Police <laughs> now. Beautiful, couple of eyes. You know, a lot of famous people come in here, and it's a funny thing, because I know you eat a lot of fruit, you start to look like fruit. <laughs> you know, what's his name? Uh, Barry Hansworth. He come in all the time. He buy custard apples. And now, he starts to look like a custard apple. <laughs> and then there's Nick Reimer. He always buys the Brussels sprout. And Mr. Kane, he likes his prunes. <laughs> you know, but some of these people are funny. Take, for example, the uh, Warwick Crapper. <laughs> he comes in every Saturday before the match and he buys one zucchini. <laughs> That's all he buys, just one zucchini. I don't know why. Maybe special diet, I don't know. But, uh, you know, I think I know something about him. I know why he don't play with the swans anymore. Is the name swans. I mean, you got the bulldogs, the lions, the bombers, the tigers, but then you got the swans. The name is no good, because the swan is a big, soft bird, like a big puff. <laughs> you put a swan up against a bulldog, and what do you get? Feathers. <laughs> That's why what a crapper, he's gone up north to join the bees. They're bigger, tougher. And $4,000 buys a lot of zucchinis. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Hello to you, and good luck to your family. Right, this is unusual, isn't it? It's a New Zealand pea. I don't know. Would you like some peaches? I got some beautiful peaches here today. Have a look at this. Yeah, a couple of rice. Maybe you like some uh, tropical fruits. I got some beautiful tropical fruits from Queensland. I don't know what these fruits are. Have a look at this. The big spiky fruit. This is the thing that is eating the barrier reef. You know. They're always making new fruits. You know this one, the nectarine? He is made from a peach. He is, if you like, a son of a peach. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Queensland got the biggest everything in the world. The big pineapple, the big banana, and now the biggest Brussels sprout. This one here. <laughs> you know what they call him? They call him the Brussels hens. <laughs> you know, I read in the uh, newspaper yesterday that Russ Hines, he said it was not him in the Bubbles bathhouse. It was someone look just like him, just the same like him. Now the police want to question Ricky Mai. <laughs> you know, you get lots of fruits from Queensland. You get the jackfruit, the youngberry, but you know, too much of the fruit come from Queensland is no good. Some smells like baby sick. It's rotten. <laughs> Something is rotten in the state of Queensland. You know, you get one rotten fruit in the barrel and everything else go off. You know what they say? It is the Chinese gooseberries that are running wild. And this fruit, what they call it, uh, nunchuckers. You can't eat it like that. That's why they're having this big expos. The expos are right, which Mr. Fitzgerald is running in Queensland. It's got everything. It's got the surprises. It's got the monorail. Just like Sydney, except it works. <laughs> and the people come from all over the world to see Queensland exposed. You know what they say? Beautiful one day, in jail the next. <laughs> anyway, happy birthday and good luck to your family. <laughs> Nonsense, this time they were coming all along, eh? <laughs> hey, hello to you, gentlemen. What can I do for you today? Hey, you like some plums? I got some beautiful plums today. What? Too hard? 
Ah, a couple of days. Beautiful. <laughs> you know what a week it's been? You read in the paper about Jimmy Swagger. You know the one? Look like this. <laughs> He's an evil angelist on the television. You know, he tried to show people the way to heaven. Then he got caught trying to take the quick route. <laughs> no good, no good, no way. And you know, Mr. Blood, he in trouble with the doctors. Because he got a list of all the doctors who charged too much. Somebody leak on the names to the prices people. Now the doctors, they mad, cross, lose their anger. Because of the privacy. Doctors got the private practice. They got the private practice of charging too much money. <laughs> and they don't like being leaked on. What, potatoes? Sure thing. How many you like? Ten. All right. I see another Don is going into politics. First there was Don Dunstan. Then there was Don Shipp. Now Don Fraser. <laughs> and you know, I come from a very good family. The Fraser's all good sportsmen. Neil Fraser, brother, play tennis. Fraser Murphy, our brother, play for Carlton. <laughs> and the father, Malcolm Fraser. He's a boxer. I know, because I've seen him in the paper in the boxer shorts. <laughs> I know all about sport because I'm Greek. Greeks invent sport. Greeks invent the Olympic Games. But not this Winter Olympic. No, this is a puffy thing, this Winter Olympic, no good. We don't have no boob sled in Greece. We don't go down the Acropolis or get up with rocks in your head. We don't do the puffy clothes and the dancey dancey on the ice. No way we do the real sport. Running, javelin, dixers, shot puts. That sort of thing. That's why we come 165th. <laughs> you know, it's good to see politicians playing in the sports. You know Barry Answorth? <laughs> he's a good runner. Right now he's running for his life. And you got what you call the, the mean machine, Paul Keating. And of course, Wilson Tucky. He's swinging around the big iron bar. And of course, Prime Minister Hawk. He played cricket, he played golf, and you see him in the pool. He never swim, he just walk across the water. <laughs> Anyway, thank you, gentlemen. Happy birthday. Good luck to your family. Hey! Hello, how are you today, gentlemen? What can I do for you today? You like some grapes? I got some beautiful grapes here today. How about a kilo? You like a kilo? All right, here we go. It's a little bit over, but you can have it. No worries. You know what else I got? You might be interested. I just fix your grapes up first here. Beautiful grapes for you. I got some wine that you're gonna love. I make him myself. I squash the grapes with my own feet. Have a look at that. <laughs> and then I get the whole family in the bathtub. Agape, Theo, Nikki, Yorgo, everybody. Christos, everyone gets into the bath. We're stomping, stomping, stomping. Beautiful. You wanna try him? Would you like to try him? It's okay, there's no gems in this bottle. <laughs> no gems, I always have a very clean bottle. It's a beautiful one. Here, I put a bit for you to try. Look at that, beautiful. It's a red wine. You want to try? <laughs> you... After me, all right, all right. He's looking at you, kid. Ha, ha, ha. Mmm. Yes, beautiful. <laughs> Maybe a uh, couple of nights. But you know, he's good for lots of things. You can put him in the car, wash the dog, wash the floor, you know. Many, many things. It's a versatile wine. You know, I read in the papers that the French, they're mad angry. They lose their angry because the Australians, like you and me, call the wines after the French names. Chardonnay, Beaujolais, Kulaba. I don't know why. You know, the French, they don't even drink wine no more. Now they drink beer. They sink schooners all the time. You know what I mean? You know, I think you do. You know, I don't drink beer because it puts on the big guts, the big stomach. I don't want to be fat. 
But you know what I hate? It's the girl on the, uh, the wine cooler, the one on the girl on the television. She burps, she break wind. She's a rude girl. I don't want her car. I don't want to read this cool magazine, The Vice. I don't like her. Too many people, they're rude. Like the wine people, the French wine people. I see them on the television. They drink, they spit out. They spit into a bucket. And I think maybe this is where the cooler comes from. <laughs> so what do you think? You like to try some? You want to buy some of my wine? You know what I call him? Come here. Come here, Lado. Lado. You know what I call him? I call him Susan Renouf. You want to know why? Because this one is mature, full-bodied, and goes with anything rich. <laughs> hey, happy birthday, and good luck to your family. <laughs> hey, hello, how are you today, gentlemen? You like some tropical fruits? What about this? How about this? <laughs> what does this look like to you? <laughs> I think it looks beautiful. It's called a uh, ram's bottom, a summer ace. I don't know. What kind of a week do you have? Me, I've been reading in the paper about the people protest about the cruelty to dumb animals. I agree. It's time to leave Betty Hansworth alone. <laughs> it's too much. But what I want to know, where does this Nicky Grimer come from? I not see him before. Suddenly, he's everywhere. You know, he looks like that film star from Close Encounters. The little one, come out of the spaceship at the end. <laughs> and you know, I'll tell you something. You know that flying saucer that pick up the people's car? This Nicky Grimer, he appear exactly the same time. <laughs> I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, he's too egotistical. Anyway, so you like some of him? Tell you one thing's for sure, he's good for the hair. He's covered in his. How about that? Like my kids. You know my daughter, Rula. Rula, Tula, Sula, Vula, Fula. <laughs> and Nagapi. Anyway, Rula, she put the girl, the sticky girl, what do you call him, uh, the moose, the mouse moussaka, in her hair. I don't know, it's all sticky, stick up like this, all big and puffy, you know. <laughs> when she come home on the windy day, everything stick to her head. <laughs> Leaves, boxes from Kentucky Fried Chicken, <laughs> violet crumble wrappers. You talk about blonde tips, she's got rubbish tips. <laughs> all she needs is a fairy on the top, and she looks just like a Christmas tree. <laughs> I don't know. The bathroom at home, Full of stuff for hairs. Egg shampoo, apple shampoo, beer shampoo, protein, oatmeal, chamomile, ginseng, I don't know. My cousin, Vasily, he got locked in the bathroom for one week. He put on six kilos. <laughs> I don't know, my daughters, Rula Tula Sula Fula and Agapi, they all crazy about these pop stars, this uh, pseudo echo. I said to her, why don't you go for a nice Greek boy? Like, uh, like George Michael. <laughs> this kind of boy you can bring home to meet your mother. You know that uh, Jeff Mallets, you know, in City Minutes? He said to him, to George Michael, he's guy. But I hear him sing sad songs also. <laughs> you know, he go both ways. But sad and guy. Beautiful. Anyway, you like some of this one? I give you very cheap. I give you a few pairs of these. How about four of these? You like four of these? It's very good for the health. And not too expensive either. Anyway, happy birthday and good luck to your family. <laughs> hey! Hello, how are you today, gentlemen? What can I do for you? Would you like some avocado? It's beautiful, it's a little bit hard, but don't worry, come on ice. <laughs> How's it going for you? Things is okay for me? <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is a great country. You know, 20 years ago, I come here on the boat with nothing, nothing. But look at me today. <laughs> 
Oh, you know, I owe a lot to this country. I owe a thousand dollars to a bank card. <laughs> I owe a thousand dollars on the MasterCard. And I got the higher purchase payments. You know why he's called the higher purchases? Because the payments get higher and higher all the time. It could only happen in Australia. But you know what take all the money? The horses. Now, gambling is no good. I bet on Vo Rogue in the White for Age handicap. You know why they call it the White for Age? Because you wait for ages for him to come in. <laughs> I tell you, the biggest handicap they got, the horses, is the name. Bosin, this uh, handy handy. What is this handy handy? It's a puppy name. <laughs> no, it's no good. So I back the bone crusher, because they say he's another fallop. I agree. He's completely stuffed. <laughs> but I tell you what is good, the lotto. Last week, I almost win the lotto. I got five and the sap. All the other numbers were wrong, but I got number five and the sap. <laughs> you know, one day, I will have the big win. And then I buy a nice big house. You know, I see in the paper, Frankie the North, he's selling the Point Piper house. When I have the lotto win, that's what I'm going to buy. But the first thing I do after I buy him, I'm going to fix him up. I'm going to put two big concrete lions at the front on the gate post. I'm going to concrete over the front lawn. Beautiful. Then dig up the backyard and put in the tomato plants. Beautiful. Here, listen, come here. Hello, hello, come here, come here. Come here to me. Listen, you go to the TAB. You go to the TAB, I give you the tip. You put a bed on for me, but not tell my wife. I tell you the horse, Star Watch. They he say he's good on a wet trap. I back him in the Sydney to Harbour. <laughs> That's a joke, don't worry. You put a couple of dollars on him for me in the seventh. Oh, wait a minute, here comes my wife, Mariki. Now forget about it. Here, you like the avocado? No, it's not too hard. Couple of rice. I tell you what you I tell you what I'm gonna do for you. Aren't we lucky men to have beautiful wives? Mariki, she's the biggest thing in my life. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap this one up for you, for your family, like an Easter egg for your beautiful wife to take home for her once she gets a surprise. On Christmas, Easter morning, whatever you call him, when she opens up this and she finds an avocado that in a couple of days, it's gonna be beautiful. There you go. No charge for you. Don't forget. Star Wars in the seventh. Okay. Happy birthday for Easter and good luck to your family. <laughs> hey. Hello. How are you today, gentlemen? What would you like today? Tomorrow's. Beautiful. I got some beautiful tomorrow's in today. They're very good to... Ah, oh, what's the matter with that one? <laughs> Here we go. I don't like these bags at all. Here... Here we go. I got some beautiful tomatoes in today. Have a look at that. Beautiful. That is beautiful, fresh and ripe. I don't charge you for this one. You know, these tomatoes, beautiful tomatoes, I grow them myself. These ones, how many you like? Six? Beautiful. These ones are good tomatoes. They're not like the ones you get in the supermarket. You know what is wrong with the ones from the supermarket? Let me tell you. Radiation. They radiate the fruit to make him last longer. They think we know knowledge. But you know, you can always pick the radiated one. Have a look at this. Wait a minute. Agape! Turn off the lights. Have a look at that. <laughs> That's a radiated tomato, Agape. She's a beautiful one, Agape. My brother's wife. You know, with these radiated tomatoes, there's only one thing you can make from him. French salad. <laughs> <laughs> you know about the French? They're bombing the crap out of Manuro. Ah, that's another story. You know, radiation is a very bad thing. It's turning people everywhere into mutants. For example, Mark Jackson, Jacko, ugly one, look like that. Look what happened to him. He carried that big battery around on his head. 
The radiation make his hair go white, stand up. His tits fall out. And his brain shrivel to the size of a pea. Now he's good for nothing except American television. Example number two, Peter Garrett. You know why he hates the nuclear power so much? The radiation from the amplifiers make him lose his hay. You know where else you get the radiation? From the microwave oven. It cooks food on the inside, but not on the outside. This is no good. Should be like on the charcoal grill. Black on the outside, black on the inside. Beautiful. <laughs> You know, in my house, there's no microwave oven in my house because the radiation is bad for the, uh, bad for the men. Tell me, hello, hello. You see, the man has got, uh, he's got this, two of this, oh no, maybe this one's better. You have a look at this. He's got this, you know. <laughs> but what do you think the radiation give to him? Tell me, have a look at this. <laughs> radiation gives him Nuclear tests. <laughs> Nobody wants nuclear tests. No way. Anyway, you want some more bottles? Couple more? Okay for you. I tell you what. <laughs> How do you buy like a, a nice new honeydew melon? Beautiful. This one for you. What? To green. I don't know. It's, I think it's always green. Ah, couple of rice. Anyway, this one is for you. <laughs> so there you go, gentlemen. Happy birthday and good luck to your family. <laughs> That's the way. Beautiful. Oh, couple of rice. <laughs> Hey, hello, gentlemen. How are you today? Hey, you like some of him? He's full of vitamins. Uh, he's full of vitamins. <laughs> How many would you like? Six. Good. Beautiful. I give you six. La, la, la. La, 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 la. La, la, la. You know, this one, he come from New Zealand. How many giving you eight? That's, that's close enough to six. You know, it's a funny name, New Zealand. Like, where is old Zealand? I never heard of him. You know, we get lots of things from New Zealand. We get the kiwi fruit, Joby Dickie Peterson, Frank Renouf, Darren Hintz. <laughs> i talk about him in a minute. You know, I read in the paper the other day, the condition in New Zealand may be joined up together. Now, this is no good, no. Where are they gonna build the big office? In Sydney, so close to the Australians, or in Bondi, so close to the New Zealanders. <laughs> I don't know. And what are they going to call him? New Australian Airlines. No, no, it's no good. It's not possible. What I want to know is what's going to be on the back of the plane. Maybe they put this tiki. You know the one from New Zealand? The tiki. Have you seen him? He goes like this. <laughs> Looks a bit like Jimmy Swagger. I don't know. He looks like he's being sick. Ancient god of airline food. <laughs> you know, my wife, Marike, and I married 25 years now, next year. I think maybe we go back to New Zealand for our second honeymoon. Because the first honeymoon, I was young. I was foolish. I take my wife with me. <laughs> no, 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 just joking. Marike, she is the whole world to me. Well, she's the same shape. <laughs> But I think we go to New Zealand because I want to see the uh, Rota Rota, uh, Rota, uh, Rota uh, Christchurch. <laughs> and the road, they got the big hot boiling things there which spit out the hot gas every 10 minutes. You see, I knew I was going to tell you about Mr. Hitch. I told you about him to come. Hey, come here, come here. You know what they say in Sydney? Give them a hinge, they run a mile. How <laughs> <laughs> are you going to keep laughing? Here is your kiwi fruits. Happy birthday, gentlemen. Good luck to your family. <laughs> hey! Hello to you gentlemen, how are you today? Would you like some bananas? You want some bananas? I got some beautiful bananas in today. You like a whole bunch? Beautiful!
Well, have a look at it. It's a beautiful banana, this one. It's a little bit green on the outside, but on the inside, beautiful. Have a look at this. I peel him for you. Beautiful. It's very nice, this one. No seeds, no pips. <laughs> Cabra rice. Beautiful. <laughs> Anyway, put them all in here for you. I won't charge you for that other one. <laughs> there you go. You know, last week, I get my telephone bill. I lost my anger, go crazy mad. It was five figures. $369.42. I asked my daughters, Rola, Sula, Tula, Vola, Fula, <laughs> and the Gapi, how many peoples can you ring? Nobody knows this many peoples, not even John Michael Hollywood Housing. I say, Agape, what does this uh, ISD stand for? And she says, it's special discount. <laughs> so uh, at least she tried to save me money. She uses ISD all the time. <laughs> you know, I was reading in the paper this morning that the government wants to sell telecom. Uh, so part of the idea is called uh, piratization. After Paul Keating, he is the pirate. <laughs> you know, I would think I would like to buy him, buy the telecom. I would call him Telecon. Because <laughs> I want to make some big money. You know why? Because everybody I know got the daughters. And they all go on the telephone like this. Blah, 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 blah. When I buy telecom, I put all my daughters on the switchboard. That way they be happy. They blah, 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 or die till their heads fall out. <laughs> I also read in the paper how Mr. Hawk want the young people to vote for him. But they no listen to the old men like Mr. Hawk. They listen to stupid puppet, Alf. <laughs> and they listen to the other stupid one, Max Headroom. You know the one, you go like this. What is it, 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 it? <laughs> It is a banana, na 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 It's not even a real people. So, Mr. Hawk, if you're here today, somewhere I, I have the answer for you. Have a look at this. Wait a minute, have a look at this. He's coming, coming. Here he is now. Mr. Surrey. Hello to you, Mr. Surrey. How are you today? You're beautiful? I'm beautiful. You're beautiful. Beautiful. How long are you going to stay with me today, Mr. Surrey? Couple of rice. Couple of rice. Couple of rice. Just a couple of rice. Just a couple of rice. Beautiful. Mr. City, what are we going to do about the uh, the unemployment? Give people the jobs. Give people jobs. Yeah, give people jobs. What sort of jobs are we going to give the people? Picking the fruit. Picking the fruit. Picking the fruit. Oh, that's a beautiful idea, Mr. City. How are we going to get them to pick the fruit? That no, doesn't matter. Anyway, listen. I want to tell you a little secret. It was me doing the voice all along. <laughs> because, you know, the children, they love him. And I think Mr. Hawk, he could learn a thing or two from him. You want to know why? It's because he got a puppet government for years now. <laughs> anyway, here you bananas. Happy birthday. Good luck to your family. Pom -pom -tilly -pom -tilly -pom -tilly -pom Hello. How are you today, gentlemen? I got the grapes you wanted, the uh, Waltham Cross, whatever you uh, call him. Here he is for you, beautiful. Lovely grapes. Nearly dropped this one in my lap. Ha, <laughs> said I was standing up. <laughs> Go look there now. No, beautiful. <laughs> Couple of eyes. <laughs> you know, my daughters, Rola, Sula, Tula, Vula, Fula, <laughs> and the Gapi, my eldest daughter, Vula, she go up with an Australian. His name is Wine. <laughs> like you make from him. <laughs> Wine, that's a funny name. It's like Bruce. You know, what is Bruce? I'll show you what Bruce is here. Wait a minute. I got one here. Where's the one with the Bruce? I'll show you what it is. I got one. That is Bruce. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll give you this one. It's all right, you can have him. And, uh, no, that doesn't matter. <laughs> I tell you what, it is much better to have a strong Greek name like, like Janos Koros. <laughs> hey, 
But not bros. Bros is a puffy nine. <laughs> anyway, this wine, he come round to visit my daughter, Vula. He said to me, he want to go to the pictures with her. I say, why not? So I take them to the pictures. <laughs> Vula sits on my right, wine sits on my left. It's a bit of a squeeze in the front of the truck. <laughs> but we managed to see the film Crocodile Dundee. And I now believe what I see. In the film, there's a girl. She take off her clothes in the middle of the jungle. She's a rude girl. The crocodile come up to her, coming, coming, going to eat her. I was working for him. I'm beeping the horn, have a go, you mug. <laughs> then everyone starts beeping, waving to me. And why? He leave the car, he not come back. And Vula, she starts to cry. I don't know. You try to do the best thing for your daughter, look what happened to him. Like my other daughter, Sula. We organized a nice wedding for her. We chose everything ourselves. The food, the flowers, the husband. <laughs> Beautiful man, my good friend, Yorgos Yiannopoulos. <laughs> Just the right age for my little Sula, 51. <laughs> but she don't want him. What can you do? The younger generation. You know, I even organized this special entertainment for the wedding. You know, I do magic tricks. Watch this. See him. Here comes the ma... Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I use this one instead. See him. Here comes the magic hand. Coming, coming. Where has he gone now? Is he here? No, he's he... Oh, he's broken. <laughs> Anyway, it's better than what Richard Carter and what he does. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Anyway, gentlemen, happy birthday and good luck to your family. <laughs> Hello to you, gentlemen. How are you today? Hey, look what I got here. Beautiful. <laughs> Chrysanthemums. You know, it's a Greek word for, uh, uh, for Christmas and mums. Christmas and Mother's Day. Would you like to buy him for Mother's Day? What? How long you last? Oh, the love. God, what ice. <laughs> you know, I tell you how to keep him fresh. It's a Greek trick. Come here. You put some ouzo in the water with him. It stop him droop. Ha, ha, ha. the same way for me. You know... I tell you the best one now, is this one. Plastic and material, this one. You use him every year. You're a little bit dusty, a little bit dirty, you wash him in the tap, wash him in the sink, iron him, dry him on the line. He come up good as new, beautiful. This one here, beautiful that one. You know, my wife, Marika, she have a beautiful Mother's Day, presents from the children. Rula give her a, uh, what do you call him? Uh, the tank top. Uh, it's a bit small for Marika, but lucky Rula can wear him. And Sula, she bought Marika a new record. I don't know, I think it's Greek music. Uh, his name is uh, Foreigner. I don't think it's a nice name. <laughs> and my mother, Aphrodite, I give to him a special surprise. She's this big, my mother. She lives in the back of the caravan in the backyard. She used to have a great big house. But I have to sell him, because too many memories. Weddings, christenings, birthdays, Christmas, too many, too much. Better to sell him and start again, start a whole new life in a brand new Viking caravan. Beautiful. <laughs> She's got everything she wants, my mother. A little guy born at the front, out there, and all she does every day, raking, raking, and trying to eat the grapes. And she's always said to me, the grapes are no good. It's no wonder, they're plastic. <laughs> you know, because I've got to get rid of the real grapes to put in the plastic ones, because the real ones, in the wintertime, they fall down and make a mess. My mother gets sad. Now she looks at all the time, sees the grapes, all the grapes, beautiful plastic grapes, hanging there, and she thinks of Greece, the land of plenty. Well, plenty of grapes, anyway. <laughs> but today, I go to the caravan for my mother, and I sing to him a special Mother's Day song. Got something like this. I don't have a Mr. Music to the further, so I'm just gonna do it. Without Mother, we would be nothing at all. 
without mothers we would never grow tall. Without mothers we don't know what we do. That's why I sing this special song for you. My mama, my mama, my mama. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Hey, let me tell you something. I wrote that one myself. <laughs> oh, my mama. But you know, my mother, I, I sing to her, singing, singing all the time, singing, but she now come out. She open a window, she gives me the evil eye, you know, and she throws things at me. I don't know why. What can you do? What can you do? Anyway, anyway I'll tell you what I do for you. For you, I'm going to give you, for your mother, this beautiful flower seed, this one's beautiful, last forever if you look after him. These ones are free for you, because my mother don't like them anyway. Happy Mother's Day, and good luck to your family. <laughs> Hello to you gentlemen, how are you today? What can I do for you? Hey, I'll tell you what I have for you. I have for you a beautiful rock melon. Have a look at that. Beautiful, that's what I call a melon. What? Too hard? Ah, a couple of eyes. <laughs> you know, if you know when to eat him, you can always play football with him. Ha, ha, ha. Look at this. Oh, Steve Lundley. <laughs> no, it's all right, it's okay. Anyway, this melon for you is $1.50. Oh, it's cheap. But you know, for $10, you can buy a whole football team. The silly these ones. Ha, ha, ha. You know why they're so cheap? Because they only work one afternoon every week. Well, that's lazy. If I buy them, I make them work every day of the week. They hold the ladder while I pick the fruit. Ha, ha, ha. Because you know, they're used to being on the bottom of the ladder. <laughs> hey, you know, I see the queen. You know the one, the queen opening the Parliament House on the television. They say she's the queen, but she never wears the crown, the hat, the special hat. This is no good, you know, the royal family. They're always on a holiday, always holidaying. It's no good. Oh, look after the shop. <laughs> you know, Prince, uh, Prince Charlie, they say that he need a job. He should come to me. I give him a job right here in the shop. I tell you, he make a good fruiter. You know why? He smile all the time. All the customers love him, and his father's a Greek. Beautiful. And this Prince Edward, he want to be an actor. He should come here and be a neighbor. Who knows? Maybe he becomes famous back home. I don't know. Young people got to have their work. Hey, I got my cousin here. My other cousin, my, my nephew. Hey, come here. Give me Nick. Here he is. This is my nephew, Nick. This is Nicky. He look a bit like the boy in the neighbors. You know what's his name? Uh, Jason. Ha-ha! <laughs> it's a good Greek name, Jason. Jason and the Golden Fleece. And Nick, work at the Golden Fleece, just down the corner. <laughs> hey, Nick, when my car gonna be ready? Couple of days. Couple of days? Yeah. Just a couple of days? Couple of days. Oh, that's all right. Hey, Nick, look over there. Have a look at this. Same nose like me. He's got one, I got one. Beautiful. <laughs> His mother is like a brother to me. Anyway... <laughs> I think that Nick is going to be good here, working out in the shop, helping me out of it and again. Nick, go on, put the candle up in the bag for the gentleman. Come yeah, on, what's the matter? No, no, that's all right. Come on, find the bag. No, it's like this. Look, it's easy. What's the matter? Come on, open him up. Put in the, uh, in the melon. Spit in the bag. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. No, 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 no. <laughs> Nice and ripe, not too soft, not, not too hard after all. Okay, hand into the gentleman and say after me, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Come on, what's the matter, Nick? It's English we're talking here. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And good luck to your family. Good luck to your family. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> That's so good. Hello to 
you, gentlemen? Come in. Come in, I've got some beautiful fruit for you today. Oh, you like, I'm gonna have a look at this. Oh, look at that one, beautiful. I wax him so he keep for a long time, eh? Maybe a little bit too much wax. I'm gonna put him back there out of the way. But he's good for the kids. Put him in the lunch for the kids, for the school. Beautiful. You got kids? Yeah, me too. How many you got? Two. You'll need to eat more fruit. <laughs> me, I got six daughters. Rula, Sula, Tula, Vula, Fula, and Agape. <laughs> Rula, my eldest daughter, she's at the university, studying to be a bachelor. That's crazy, it's no good. A nice Greek girl like him, she'll get married. <laughs> and you know what she studied at the university? English! I say to him, Rola, why are you in English? You already speak English. I teach you myself, beautiful. <laughs> you know, I read in the paper the other day, this Mr. Blaney from the university, he said people, they should not vote if they not speak plain English. I don't know why he don't want to vote, but I can't understand a word he says. <laughs> Crazy, man. <laughs> anyway. Give you some of these for your boys and girls, your babies, your kids, come on, they say you like eight of this, right? Beautiful. You know, I'll give you a few more. This one is the full in the ground, but doesn't matter. <laughs> it's still beautiful, lovely apple for your kids. You know, last week, I got a visit all out of the university. I'm going to give her the big surprise for her birthday. I look for Rola, looking, looking everywhere for him. And I find him in a very big classroom. It's called the, uh, the cafeteria. That's a very important subject, because everybody study him. In my day, you weren't allowed to eat in the classroom. Doesn't matter. Rona, she's the only one she studies very hard. When I come into the cafeteria, she's reading the book. I call her from the door. Hey, Rona! It's your papa! She look up, she see me, she put her head right back in the book. She's a good girl. So I walk up to her, and she no even look up. She put her down deeper in the book. I'm getting closer, coming, coming, closer, closer. Head getting deeper, deeper, deeper in the book. She not even hear me coming. I come right up to her, and I sing, Happy birthday to you, Rola. Surprise! And she is so surprised. Her face goes like this one. Go like it. Now I say, it goes like this one. Goes like that. And she said to me, Papa, what are you doing here? And I say, I come to say happy birthday. And she said, Papa, my birthday not till Tuesday. I say, ah, a couple of eyes. <laughs> then I make her take me around and meet all the teachers. And I give them all some fruit. Apples, peaches, tomatoes. Beautiful. <laughs> the next day, the very next day, Rola, she says she wants to leave the university and she wants to go to live in Antarctica. I don't know. Who can understand these kids? Anyway, happy birthday, gentlemen, and good luck to your family. <laughs> hey! Hello to you. How are you today, gentlemen? You know, I've got some beautiful seedless grapes today. Have a look at this. Beautiful. This one's very special because you know they got no pips. <laughs> well, a couple of pips, that's a matter. Well, you actually make this few kilos. Beautiful. <laughs> Put him in here. La la la. Oh, a little bit over, but that's a matter. Huh? You know, I've just been reading in the paper. About the new floody hotel on the Barrier Reef. I not stay there, you know, because of the mad friends. Maybe they sink him. <laughs> anyway, what stopped him from floating away? You go for a holiday in the Barrier Reef, end up in Vladivostok. <laughs> Some people in the hotels get homesick. In this one, you get seasick. Because he's rocking, rocking, rocking. Make you, you know, make you, uh, make a chanda. I have Cachandras, which reminds me of my honeymoon at the hotel in Greece. Oh, it was a beautiful honeymoon. Just me, my wife Marika, and Aphrodite, my mother. <laughs> you know, some people think it's no good to have three people on a honeymoon. But I think, why not? It's good to take the wife along 
Because she did not have many holidays. <laughs> and my mother, well, somebody has to keep the room clean. <laughs> you know, I no care about the money. It was a five-star hotel. I know, because I look up through the hole in the roof, I see five stars. <laughs> you know, I pay 20 drachma for bed and board. All the trouble is, my mother get the bed, and Marika and me, we got the board. <laughs> hey, I let you into a secret. Come here, tell her I was in this hotel, and it was in this hotel that my beautiful daughter, Rula, was made. <laughs> well, I had to do something. My mother, she's snoring so much I couldn't sleep. <laughs> That's a romantic story, don't you think? I'll tell you what. My wife, Marika, she thinks it would be nice to go to this floaty hotel in the Barrier Reef. But I think it's no good. Because if my mother snored again, we maybe make another daughter. And you know what we'd have to call him? Marina. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, gentlemen, happy birthday and good luck to your family. Hello, you gentlemen. How are you today? I'm just, uh, just cleaning up a bit. Get a little of some of the fruits, the ones that uh, goes a little bit, little bit soft. But uh, I thought maybe you'd like some of them. I'll give it to you for nothing. Just get a bag here. Oh, uh, uh, wait a minute. It's a little bit slippery, but it's beautiful. You know what you do with him. It's still good to eat this one. You cook him up, put him in a great big pot, pot, four to five cups of sugar, a little bit of wine, a little bit of water, cook him for covered eyes. <laughs> Wait, mum, it doesn't matter. Beautiful. I clean this up later, it doesn't matter. I leave it for my daughter, Vula, or Rula. She's going to come in today to clean everything up for me when she gets home from the university. Hey, wait a minute. Here she comes now. Hey, Rula. This one. This is my Rula. He's my old daughter, this one. He go to university, and now she's very smart in the brain. <laughs> Rula, how come you dress like this to clean up the shop for me? Dad, I want to go out to the pictures tonight. Oh, no, 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 not tonight. I'm too busy to go to the pictures tonight. Dad, we want to go alone. Alone? To the pictures? With a boy? Who is this boy, Rula? Who is this one who wants to take my girl from me? How are you, Mr. Dickelotis? Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Yes, sir. Uh, you can't scare her. No, no, I'm actually Italian. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Tell him, from Italy. That's, that's where we come from, yeah. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter, you know. Una faccia, una razza. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey, I know you. I've seen you on the television. That's right. Hey, you're Joey Pepperoni. <laughs> Beautiful, from the young talent time. Mm. Hey, give me a song. No, 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 no. That's not me. Oh, look, I, I just, uh... Just to what? Dad, you're embarrassing me. Well, listen, you want to marry him, I've got to get to know him. Oh, no, look, look, I don't want to marry her. What do you mean, I don't want to marry her? What's the matter with him? <laughs> he's beautiful, he's smart in the brain. This one, very good, knows how to cook, how to clean, sweeping, cleaning up. Sure, but uh, we just want to go to the movies. <laughs> you just want to go to the movies? Yeah. Now marry him. No. Come here. Come here to me. I'm going to tell you something, Joey. Uh, no, no, it's Vince. What? Vince is my name. Vince Sorrenti. Joey Pepperoni, Vince Sorrenti? No, no, no. no. <laughs> Forget Joey Pepperoni. It's just Vince Sorrenti. Oh, you heard of him. I watched him on television. You no, know, I'm him. You're him? Yeah. You're Vince Sorrenti? Yeah. You're the one on the television? Yeah, it's me. The one who goes... <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. me. Hey, Rola, look who it is. It's Vince Sorrenti. She, she knows. <laughs> oh, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Come on, tell me a joke. You want to hear a joke? I want to hear that joke. Oh, well, we're going to go to the movies and I'm not going to marry her. <laughs> 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 
That's a good I job. I knew you'd like that. Tell me another one. one. She's old enough to make her own decisions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a crazy man. Next thing you're going to tell me, she's not old enough to vote because she's 24. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've seen him, but I don't believe him. <laughs> hey, when are you going to bring Ruler back to me? Couple of days. A couple of days. <laughs> couple of days? Wait a minute, a couple of days? Unbelievable. Yeah. Couple of hours, maybe. <laughs> hey, hello, dear gentlemen, how are you today? What can I do for you? Hey, would you like something special? I got something special for you. I got some beautiful pumpkins. Beautiful. You roast him, make him into soup. Beautiful. Just over here, I got... Hey, wait a minute. Who's been playing around here? Who's been putting plastic bouncy fruit in the <laughs> mouth? That's the matter. When I find the kid... I will put this football kick team into my shop. I'm going to give him a good click on the ear. Uh, oh, my. Have you got a Oh, sorry, no. <laughs> hey. Hey, look at you. You, you look, you're Robert. That's me. You're a That's right. You play for Atom. That's correct. Oh, yeah. Me, I go for the Mighty Bummers. Oh. But, uh, in fact, you play the Bummers today. Yeah, it's a uh, half time. Oh, really? What's the score? Uh, we're a couple of points down. So a couple of points? We're a couple of points down. Ah, just a couple of points, <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> I, uh, Mr. Dip, 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 Dip. I call you Bertie. <laughs> you know, sure. Bertie, can I ask a favour for you? Anything. Well, you see, I got a, uh, I got a son named Con. Do you know that? Yeah, that's a matter. <laughs> and he likes to collect autographs of famous people. Not a problem. Oh, beautiful. Not a problem. There you go. Um... Well, um... OK, yes, sir, that's a matter. Better. That's yes, a nice big one here. Thank there you, you go. Thank you, thank you. Thanks. Yesterday to, to Khan... To Khan... Dick Aletis. D-I-C-K-I-L-E-T-U-S. Khan Dick Aletis. Beautiful. You know, I get all the big names in here in my shop. You're the biggest name I ever got. Could you do your second name? Uh, I need another piece of paper. Oh, no, that's a matter. There you go. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah, wait till the kids see this. OK, look, i, I better get going now. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Can I ask you something? What? It's a personal question. Anything. Why don't you shave this morning? Hey, <laughs> uh, I did shave. Oh, really? Like me? I'm much I'm shave. Shave. <laughs> Beautiful. OK. Hey, you know, I like you. Thank I'm going to ask you a question. You want to win the match today? What do you recommend? Well, I'll tell you what. For energy, you need to have the fruit. Mm. You need to eat the grapes, sultanas, raisins, peaches. Last quarter, you're running, running, running <laughs> everywhere. Um, how much? No, for you. Ah, no, for you, Fred. That's oh, a matter. Thank you. Thank you. Here, I fish him up for you. Beautiful. I'm sure the boys are going to like this. Oh, yeah, the boys are going to get their money's worth out of this one. That's for sure. They're going to be running all day. You get me in with this one. Thank you. No, no worries at all. Yeah, but, oh, maybe it's a little bit. How many boys you got out there? Oh, some big boys. Uh, oh, some big ones. There you go. Beautiful. That's the way. <laughs> Cast the cap for that ice. There you go. Thank, and in thank here. You, thank you. Wait a minute. I'll give you this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> this one. Yeah. Always use the plastic bag. Always. Doesn't matter. Get it. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, happy birthday, Mr. Dipper, and Thank good you luck to you for our team. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello. How are you today? <laughs> I just got a new machine here for the closing up the bags. I think I broke him. <laughs> well, that's a matter. You know, I got some beautiful onions for you today. Have a look at that. This one, have a look at this. You can chop him. And he rolls on the floor. Get another one. <laughs> you can chop him. And this one, special one. He'll not make you cry. <laughs> oh, you know, a couple of tears. That's a matter. <laughs> you know, I've been reading in the paper. They say that in Queensland, a block of land is sold every half hour. 
I should know. It's my brother-in-law who sells it. <laughs> oh, no, it's a joke. You know, but I think the land prices in Australia are too much. When we come to this country, Marika and me, she is my wife. She is the whole world to me. Well, she's the same shape. <laughs> when we come here, we have no money. First place we live in is small. But we make him nice. Put concrete on the grass. Beautiful. <laughs> Only trouble is, we was in the migrant hostel. So soon we bought a little house in the city. Paint him green. <laughs> a little bit of turquoise doesn't matter. Beautiful. <laughs> Put the lions at the front. Beautiful. <laughs> Give me a little beer for Dora Rula. I said to Marika, what are we going to do? We got no room. She said to me, God will provide. And he did. He provided five more daughters. <laughs> Sula, Tula, Vula, Fula, and Agape. <laughs> so we got to move. We buy the big house in the suburbs. I didn't mean to buy him. The man was at the front with a big red flag. He wiped to me. I wiped back at him. <laughs> he looked to me. I wife again. It's like that. Next thing I know, I got a mortgage. Ah, it doesn't matter. It's a beautiful house. We all lived there together for years. Very happy there. But yesterday, Rola, she decided to move out. She's renting the house near the university. And when I go to this house, I don't believe what I see. The little greenhouse with a little bit of turquoise here on the end. With the lions at the front. The same house we used to live in. Everything the same. Except the price. Rent for one week. More than I pay for the whole house. <laughs> and I have to pay him every week. I say to her, Rula, come back to me. I give you your own bedroom. I put up for Daddy, my mother. Back out of the caravan. I said to him, Rola, come back soon. Come on, I. Please. I'm sorry, I'm not crazy, these aliens. <laughs> anyway, I'll give you some for him. Doesn't matter. <laughs> How many you like? Half a dozen? Beautiful. <laughs> there you go. Another one for luck, and I try this machine again. There you go. Happy birthday, gentlemen. Good luck for your family. <laughs> Pom chili pom chili pom doodle. Pom pom chili pom chili pom doodle.